Well, Paula, let's reflect on a pretty phenomenal morning. Let's start with the men's elite, a really fiercely contested race. Yeah, very fiercely contested, very fierce pace from the outset. Maybe a little bit too fast in, in the first half, but it's surprising that so many men stayed together in the second half. I think with that fierce pace in the first half, he expected more to, to fall off and maybe that was significant then. Had there been just one on their own, maybe they could have pushed even harder and you'd actually have ended up with a faster time. But at that point, it became about winning the race and it became about judging that right. And we had a thrilling finish and to have four or five guys battling it down the home straight, three really sprinting eyeballs out for that finish line. It was really exciting and great to see tantalizing close to breaking through that 2-4 barrier, um, but still a big course record. Coming into this event, it was an impressive lineup, and of course Tamara Tola made his intentions clear. He wanted to defend his crown, but he had to be content with third. He looked very disappointed. Yeah, I think he was disappointed. I mean, there was a bit of a stumble at 35 kilometers at a drink station. Uh, Mengistu cut across him uh, and he definitely lost his momentum if he didn't tweak something a little bit um, there. But I think he was disappointed because he knew he was in great shape. He was ready to run fast. He did that, but he didn't win the race. And that was the number one aim, I guess, coming into it. And he controlled a lot of the race. He spent a lot of time kind of putting himself in the right place, making surges, testing people. And if you contrast that with Jeremy, who pretty much sat back and did nothing until the, the final straight when he just laid it all on the line and, and went for it and won the race that way. Gebra Celesi as well, an amazing debut. Yeah, it was an amazing top three and all credit to the winner, as you said, cool, calm and collected. Yep, kept his powder dry all the way through. Uh, and when it really counted, that was the first time he made his move, but he made it well. Let's turn our attentions now to the women. Another fantastic race and a course record to boot. Yep, course record and I think the first time ever for women under 220 with the, the fifth only just outside of that on a debut as well. So um, really outstanding depth from the women and I think maybe a little bit smarter, wiser way of running it in terms of they went to, to halfway pretty much bang on the 70. Uh, and then came back that much quicker in the second half and really picking it up in the last five, six, seven kilometers. And Dejera controlled it very, very well, made sure that it wasn't, and nothing was coming down to a sprint finish in the women's race. It was one before she turned into the closing straight and then rewarded with that huge course record and huge personal best. It must really excite you, Paula, to be here and see this event just grow in stature and strength and, and just see what phenomenal racing at its very, very best. Yeah, it's really exciting to see and it's great to see the, the turnout here, the support that marathon running gets, to see 30,000 people out taking part in the marathon here today, being rewarded with some very fast times in the mass races as well, we saw in the wheelchair race. So every year it's kind of building and building on that strength in depth uh, and getting more and more known that the standard charter Dubai Marathon is where you need to come if you want to run fast.